In this video, we will demonstrate how to automatically tune a gain scheduled PID controller for a permanent magnet synchronous machine with nonlinear load torque. The model shown here uses blocks from the motor control block set to model and simulate the plant, and blocks from simulant control design to perform the auto tuning of the PID gains. Because we are tuning the speed controller in this video, the current control loop acts as part of the speed controls plant. The current controller consists of a D and Q axis. PI controllers and transformations to convert from the stationary reference frame to the synchronous reference frame and then back again. The plant model in this subsystem is built using an average value inverter and surface mount PMSM blocks from the motor control block set. The plant has a nonlinear load torque applied that increases by speed squared. For the speed control loop, this results in low damping for low RPMs and large damping for high RPM operating points. In order to maintain consistent performance over the operating range of RPMs, we can use gain scheduling to tune the PID controller at three operating points evenly spaced over the speed range. The breakpoints we are going to tune the PID controller at are 0 0.2, 0 0.5, and 0 0.8 normalized speed reference. After we are done tuning, we will update the gains through the use of data store memory blocks. We will then use lookup tables to implement the gain scheduled controller. The speed controller in this model is simply a PI controller with the gains for PNI coming from an external source. This configuration is necessary for gain scheduled control. To obtain the gains efficiently, we make use of the closed loop PID auto tuner block in simulant control design. The auto tuner is configured to achieve the design requirements of less than 5% overshoot and a rise time of less than 0.01 seconds. These requirements result in a setting of 200 radians per second for the bandwidth and 60 degrees for the phase margin. The other settings for the closed loop PID auto tuner found on the experiment tab are configured for the PMSM plant, which is stable and has positive sign. For the sine amplitudes of the injected sine wave perturbations, we want to ensure less than 15% perturbation from the set points, so we will use a value of 0.01. In many typical gain scheduling workflows, it is required to use multiple simulations to run the system, tune the gains, update the gains, and then run the system again with the new set of gains. In this video, all these steps are performed in a single simulation. This is made possible by using a logic-based approach to determine which operating point set of gains needs to be updated in the dynamic lookup tables. In order to achieve this, we compare the operating point to the breakpoints of the gain scheduled PID controller and then index into the data using data store memory blocks and the optional index import. Before two seconds, a static set of gains is used which were tuned at the middle breakpoint of 0.5. After 2 seconds, the gain schedule of the controller gains are used. When we simulate the model, we will perform an initial transient from 0.5 speed reference to 0.8, then bring the system to 0.2 to tune the first set of gains, then 0.5 for the second set of gains, and finally to 0.8 for tuning the final set of gains. When tuning is completed, the system will perform the same transient as before from 0.5 to 0.8 speed reference, so we can compare the results. As we can see, the system performs much better when using a gain scheduled controller compared to using a static set of gains. The blue trace is the system response using gain scheduling, and the red trace is without gain scheduling. Using gain scheduling results in reduced overshoot, reduced rise time, and reduce settling time. 